gentlemen, this next match is our main event, and it is a no gi main event. Let's go! Fighting out of the blue corner, training right here in Austin, Texas, representing New Wave, Nicholas Marigali! Nicholas Marigali, originally from Porto Negre, Brazil, now in Austin, Texas, representing New Wave Jiu-Jitsu. He's got a 4-0 record here at who's number one. Who's number one? Four no and Doki. Yeah. One lost to Victor Hugo, but how will he match up with Kinda Duarte tonight is the big question. That, that, that is an exceptional question, but you know what we're gonna do? I can promise you that we're gonna see a different version of Miragali and Nogi than we saw before. Somebody that he does what he's practicing in the heat of the moment. So it'll be interesting to see what his Nogi game looks like now. Representing Atos, Kainen Duarte. Kainen Duarte, you talk about an accomplished grappler, ADCC champion, IBJJF world champion, but he's looking to get a who's number one championship belt. Miragali's in his way, Sean Williams. Yeah, you're going to talk about pressure. We're going to see really if Miragali can withstand the pressure that, that Duarte is going to put on him. So. All right, let's take a look at this heavyweight tail of the tape, the final match of the evening. Nicholas Marigali, 29 years old, six foot two, weighed in at 230 pounds. Kaina Duarte, 25 years old, six foot, weighed in also at 230 pounds. This is rank number seven versus two for all the glory. One of the most anticipated matches in Nogi history. Let's go. Ready, ready, fight. I think we're going to see early on the wrestling yeah. and what, you know, Miragali, I think what he's, what's going to fare well potentially for him is the use of the, how he uses judo to clear out the wrestling. So we'll see how that goes for him. You, you see the swatting collar ties, shades yeah. of Andre Galvao oh, yeah. uh, in ADCC championship matches. These competitors are two and two against each other. Of course, those are with the gi. This is the first time they've ever competed no gi. They've had some online rivalries, some war awards over the last year or so, and kind of with a nice little arm drag to the yeah. back attempt. But His Miragali just like raises an eyebrow like that was nothing. <laughs> His feints look really good, yeah. uh, to Kainon's. And so, yeah, see that, that feint? I think he's gonna shoot a, if he shoots a blast double, I think he's gonna actually land it now if this happens i would suspect that miragali will turn and try to uchimata but that foot sweep that we he's using too is something that he's used really well in adcc he's used that foot sweep to set up other things and hey, you, you talk about training rooms these are two of the best training rooms in the world yeah. in jiu-jitsu and grappling you know you got miragali he's got John Danaher, yeah. head coach. Gordon Ryan as his teammate. Giancarlo Badoni. You got Big Dan Luke and Kaina Duarte. Andre Galvan. You got Lucas Barboza. You got a whole, you know, Felipe Pena. You got a whole whack of guys that are at Atos Jiu Jitsu. And Kainan is in on that single leg. Don't be surprised to see Marigali with that judo type counter from the standing position. You know, he's been working with Satoshi Ishii a lot at New Wave, but kind of takes him down yeah. with that single leg. Uh, that was actually, he, he did the right thing there, in my opinion, is just to go down with that. Any type of turning at that point, turning your back would have would have been bad, bad news. So kind of with that blast double single leg. Kainen Duarte on top in that knee cut position. And uh, Marigali said, you know, no matter, because even there's no grips, he's going to use those frames. He's going to use his shields to defend. Kainen, Kainen sitting back on an ankle. Marigali said he is not afraid of the ankle attacks or the leg attacks from Kainen Duarte. And Kainen looks like he really wants to take yeah. that leg home. Yeah, he, he gave it a go, but now he's in 50-50. And it, he's got to be very careful here. Yeah, he's... Ergali's cleared his legs out. So first submission attempt and first counter by Kainan and Marigali. Marigali was able to escape that leg attack and uh, trying to smash those knees. 
Looking for that smack, folding pass position possibly. Yeah, kind of can try to lift and get in on underneath that leg, sort of an inside sand cocker position, but I I don't know if you want Marigali. Yeah, this is some wrestle up here. It's a good idea. I think it's a good idea to get back on your feet for Canon. Yeah, this is what this is right here is what Marigali does so good. Gets on the head, does these foot sweeps, and it tries to just wear you down. It's and, you know, you talk about Marigali. He is one of the greatest gi fighters in the world right now. You know, double yeah. gold champion. Uh, Kaina Duarte also one of the greatest gi fighters in the sport right now. They're actually going to be fighting in uh, the IBJJF Absolute uh, coming up. You know, in the same division, I should say. There's coming up uh, real oh, soon. Oh. We've got a whole whack of events coming up on Flow Grappling. Aiga, one of the you know greatest new professional team events. Will be making its debut on Flow Grappling real soon. It's a team-based competition based in Kazakhstan. Team Adolfo is going to be there against the Kazaki Grapplers. Uh, we have the IBJJF Absolute. We got BJJ Stars coming up. Just a whole ton of awesome jujitsu and grappling. Of course, we got the ADCC Trials um, all over the world coming up. The IBJJF Crown. Once again, Flow Grappling, your undisputed place for all things jujitsu and grappling. Dante Leone, who actually fought earlier, will be in that Aiga event uh, in Team Modofo, so look for him to uh, make his debut on Aiga. Back to the action now. A lot, yeah, of, a lot of wrestling attempts yeah, here. Yeah, and, and he's on the head. And, you know, to be, I've said this in the past before, but you gotta, you got to deal with collar ties well, especially if it's a long match and you're going to play on the feet for a lot. And right now, when you watch, when Mirigali ties on the head, Kanan's really just ducking his head down and shucking him off. And that's, that's not really, now he's doing better about beating Marigali to the ties. He's beating him to the ties now, which is different than what was just happening there. Yeah, watch now. Okay. See, see how Cannon doesn't really having a, a great answer that time he did an overtime. He's not, he's not dealing with the collar ties as efficiently. There he pummeled in. He's doing much better than just ducking his head and pushing now. The same for Mirigali. That kind of pushing away is tiring. You got a, another big human on on your neck. Kainen is fainted about 945 yeah, times, it, you know, but it's it's getting Mirigali's attention. It's it's causing him to be cautious in that position. Yeah, he he has a good feint. He's getting Mirigali to bite, and now there, there it is. is, a little blast double, but. I think he needs to have Mirigali step to him a little bit and then go. So back step, level change. When he steps forward, you can go. One of the most uh, impressive wins we saw with Kainan Duarte was his match against Rodolfo Vierat, who's number one. Yeah. He was able to get that slide by, yeah. get to the back, and got the choke. Referee calling for some action on both athletes. Kainan says, let's go. Yeah, Marigali, you know, very impressed at Marigali. The man has... Oh, now yeah. an attack of his own. Picks up the single leg of Kaina Duarte. Does Nicholas Marigali. I was mentioning how impressive I am. How impressed I am uh, with his transition to the Nogi game. Uh, you know, getting two medals at ADCC his first time out. But Kaina Duarte has been at ADCC. He's yeah. been at the highest level Nogi. He's won it all. So this... A little bit different than we thought it would play out, but a lot more standing for sure. Yeah, and it's... Kaina Duarte representing Atos Jiu-Jitsu out of San Diego. He's got a three and one who's number one record. Two-time ADCC champion, won the IBJJF World Championships, Kasai Grand Prix and Spider Invitational. Marigali representing New Wave, picking up that single leg again. Yeah, another single. Multiple time black belt world champion. Grand Prix in the, in the BJJ Stars championship as well. ADCC medalist. You don't get better than Marigali and Kaina Duarte. This was, truly is the battle for who's number one. Yeah, that was a nice snap down there by Kanon. Had There's this another single attempt. You can strip that wrist grip there. 
Kind of pushing that head and trying to strip that grip, as you mentioned. Marigali, oh, nice. that's a nice takedown attempt by Marigali. Just too far away to control off the landing, but there's the answer, because he needed an answer to that defense. Seven minutes, 15 seconds left. Marigali is starting to pick up the takedown attempt pace. Yeah, yeah. I think it should have went right there. That that was good timing from Kano. He's, he's got him lulled into just kind of walking in, standing up straight. Those blast doubles are nasty when that happens. If you get someone relaxing and just walking right to you. And, and Marigali, he said it yesterday, he's being very cautious and being very selective of his shots, out of his pickups, because he knows that Kainan has a very, very strong guillotine. So Marigali's got to be very precise in his takedown attempts. Again, attempt. kind of slides right out. There it is again, Marigali getting more aggressive with those single leg pickups. We'll try this foot sweep one more time. Cannon's got to be careful here of, of not getting too passive. He's going to, Marigali is constantly on that single, constantly on that single. Been a while since we've seen Cannon go for his yeah. a takedown of his own here. Again, nice pick up from the single leg. Marigali's confidence in that pickup is just rising and rising. Yep. yep. Looking the trip kind of kind of just not able to peel off the grips of Marigali. Oh, there it is. Kind of trying to shut that head down. Judges, judges favor. Judges Interesting favor. to see who are judges, judges favor. Blue. Yeah. Oh, it's even. One each, Marigali and Kainen. Now Marigali threatening a little front headlock. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it, it, he's not been too successful at it, but he's the one pushing right now. He's the one pushing. He's got the singles, the singles, the singles. Cannon needs to start to shoot or at least make some attempts, I believe. Four minutes, 20 seconds left in this match. If Nicholas Marigali defeats Kainen, I mean, he truly is one of the greatest jiu-jitsu competitors yeah. in our time. He's, you know, demonstrated in the gi that he is the best of the best. And to defeat Kain and Duarte here at who's number one, he's showing the world that he is one of the most complete jiu-jitsu fighters, you know, in both aspects of grappling, gi and no gi. Yeah. He can do it all. He can play guard. He can take you down. He can get to your back and he can yeah. finish you, but do not count Kain and Duarte out. No, no, absolutely he not. He is a machine. Yeah. And he's got the accolades, he's got the experience, but can he nope. pull the trigger? Marigali gets to the back of Kain and Duarte, takes Kain down. He's partially on the back there, Sean Williams. Yeah, he's going to come up. Oh, he's got to watch the leg when he comes up. He's going to come up into sort of a 50 50 position here. So. Mirgali's got to watch his leg, get his knee to the mat, or push that knee free, and push Cannon's knee down. And what Cannon has to watch is that he's not to get smashed right here, because it's looking like if he gets his hips to the mat, it's going to be smashed right now. Cannon, should, yep, he's got an. Under, he's looking to get the underhook and the body lock. He's going to sprawl that left leg back. Should take that head arm right there, Mirgali, instead of staying under that there. Now he's now he's getting deep. Now it's stuck. He's past the guard. Wow. 
Amazing passing display, precision passing, controlled those hips, now he's, folding the legs, yeah, he's, and just dominating. And he, this is where Amerik Ali just wears you down. He is a big man, yeah. and Kainan Duarte is in a lot of trouble right now. He's going to mount. Yep, he's not going to let Kainan out of this. Wow. He's going to mount, look for Katagatami or an arm. He's... Yeah, he's, he's going to hit Katagatami here. He's going to lower his shoulder. That's it. That's it. Kai Nicholas Marikali has submitted Kai Duarte here at who's number one. Oh, my gosh. What a performance by Marikali. He truly is. One of the greatest in the sports right now. Unbelievable. Who would have guessed he would have submitted Kaine Duarte from the mount position? What a match. We see the standing exchange at the end there. Gets yeah. Kaine down, gets to the back. Kind of tried to suck up that leg. Baragali used that to pass, got to the mount, got to the head and arm. Very similar to Fionn Davies, but was able to finish it here and gets the submission. Wow, what a performance. Yeah, amazing. He did ju mean, just yeah. a brilliant job of creating Absolutely. that pressure that just was as, essentially just too much for Kanan to handle. Yeah, we did not call, we did not expect to see a submission like that. We knew it was going to be an amazing match. It lived up to the hype. It was truly one of the best matches of the night.